We're live? Awesome. Hey everybody, how's it going today? We are on episode five, six, five. five. Episode five of the OFB Live show. Uh, so welcome, thanks for joining me. If you can hear me, if you're already online and you can hear me, let me know. I'm just gonna plug in my MacBook because it's about to die. So on today's show, what I want to talk to you about is uh, the technology and software that you need for running a great online training business. So whether that's improving the way it operates, whether it's making it easier for your audience to buy from you, whether it's improving the experience of the people who have already bought from you. The reality is that we do need some um, bits of software that are going to make running our business easier or just viable in the first place, right? There are, I downplay the, the use of technology a lot, excuse me, generally because I'm terrible with technology, um, but the reality is we have to embrace it uh, and there are certain types of software that we do need, to be honest. So I'm gonna take you through, this is very high tech, customer journey. So this is when, these are the different parts of a, a journey. Can you see that on the camera, Georgia? Are you looking at it? It's a delay again. Oh, there's a delay. So I'm gonna walk you through, yeah, yeah the, the, the technology you need at each of these steps is very high tech, latest paper and pen. Um, the technology that you need at each stage of before somebody buys from you or when they buy from you, or, and the different softwares that I use, I recommend, I'm not affiliated to anything that I recommend today. Um, I probably should be, so I can earn a little bit of money. And then the, the secret sheet, another high-tech pen and paper based bit of technology that I have here. Uh, the secret sheet to how to deliver your services, what technology and software that you can use to deliver your services. So your customers don't have to worry about how they're getting their programs or how they're get, getting their coaching, right? All we want your customers focused on is getting results, doing what you've told them to do. The last thing that we want is for them to be um, confused about how to talk to you, how to access their program or any of that. So let's start with this advanced sheet. So the first place we need to start is awareness, right? So this is the part where somebody finds out who we are, right? So this isn't necessarily technology and software, but it is the first time we use technology to run our business, right? So the technology and software required here is stuff that you already know about, nothing fancy, nothing that you don't already know, social media, right? So social media is where people become aware of us. Yes, they can become aware of us on the gym floor, in person, um, Talking about technology and software, the places that they're going to become aware of us is social media. Um, you can also include something like Ads Manager in this or Google Pay Per Click. Uh, if you're using Google Ads, very unlikely that you are. YouTube Ads, anywhere that your customer first sees you, right? So that's the first bit of technology. I'm going to fold that bit over because the reality is you already knew that, right? You just haven't included it. You may not be using Ads Manager yet. If you're running Facebook ads for your business, stop boosting posts on your Facebook page. Like, that's something that was okay to do four or five years ago. It's not okay to do anymore. If you're serious about running your business and you're serious about being successful and creating a positive return on investment on your paid marketing, use Facebook Ads Manager. Or even better, use Business Manager for your Facebook account and create your advert campaigns in there. So there's the first bit of advice that you may not have been aware of when it comes to software, right? Stop boosting posts from your Facebook page. Use Ads Manager or use Business Manager for your Facebook campaigns. So the next step. So I'm going to take you through as if you're a customer, right? So let's say this awareness has happened. Um, you found me. Right, you've seen one of my posts on Facebook or posts on Instagram. You're aware of me, right? It's awareness stage. What's the next thing that I need to have in place in order for you to take the next step? That's somewhere for me to send you, right? 
So let's say that awareness is that face posts on Facebook, ads on Facebook, the next bit of technology is going to allow me to send you somewhere. Could be a blog post, but the reality is it's going to be a page where I ask you for your email address, right? So the next bit of technology or software that I need is a page builder. Now, this could be a website in full, a WordPress, Squarespace, custom built website, whatever it is, and your page may be on there. That's fine. If you've got a complete website already, fine. You can send them to a page on there and they can, you can collect their data on that. If you don't and you wanna do this today or you wanna do this tomorrow, then you don't necessarily need a complete website right away. I didn't have an, a, a website for OFB, this business that has 300 students. I didn't have a proper website until about three months ago. Right, until I'd already had about 200 or well, over 200 students, then I sorted my website out. I'm not saying that's the right way to go. I'm just saying at this stage, we need pages to send people to. We can send them to a website, but we can also use page builders. So here's the list, right? Insta pages, lead pages, click funnels, and our preferred page builder, Thrive Themes. That's T-H-R-I-V-E, Themes. Right? There's also another one that I haven't used personally that I hear a lot of people saying good things about, and that's Beaver Builder, um, I think. Be Beaver Page Builder, something like that. So Insta Pages, Lead Pages, Click Funnels, the one we use, which is Thrive Themes, uh, and Beaver Builder, I think the other one's called. That's five options. Here's what I recommend. They all work just fine. Go and find one that has a free trial and try it. Simple as that. So we've made people aware, we've built a page that we can send people to. And on that page that we send people to, we wanna capture their information, right? Capture, store, and sell to people. So what do we need for that? An email software, right? So on this page, we're gonna have a form. And you can create the form using the page builder. You can connect it, connect that form on the page builder to an email software. I massively recommend ActiveCampaign. It's the easiest one to use, and if you're anything like me, like terrible with technology, thumbs up. But it also has the capability to do everything you could ever possibly imagine when it comes to email automations and flows and sequences, everything, right? Absolutely everything you could ever possibly need. With, in, a, in an email software, ActiveCampaign is my recommendation. Having said that, there are other options. Again, I'm not affiliated in any way to any of the businesses or software technologies that I'm recommending to you today. So if you don't want to use ActiveCampaign, fine. You could use MailChimp, and I think they have a free version of MailChimp uh, that is okay. And Aweber, they're the three. I probably don't want to overwhelm you with any more options. MailChimp, Aweber, and ActiveCampaign. So we're going to get their data on that page builder so we're gonna send them to a page, that's where we send them somewhere. On that page is gonna be a form, and that's gonna be connected to our email software. Is this making sense? Just let me know. Give me a thumbs up, any kind of emoji, GIF, comment, whatever. Uh, just let me know in the comments below that this is making sense. We're gonna send them to, sorry, we're gonna capture their data, store it in this email software. We In that email software, we can put them into an uh, an automated series of emails. We can email them regularly. An email is my favorite place to sell. The data speaks for itself. It, email outperforms social media so, so much when it comes to selling your stuff that you should be doing that, right? So this is really simple so far. Use social media to send people to your page, wherever that's built. Store their information in an email, in a piece of email software, ActiveCampaign, Aweber, or MailChimp, using that, you can then market to people via email and sell to people via email. Much easier to sell to people via email than on social media. And once somebody has read our email, you can put a call to action at the end of the email. It may say something like, click here. You can send them to another page. And on that page, there could be a form to fill in or a calendar link, right? So we want somebody to apply to work with us, right? And I'm gonna talk about sending them to a page just to buy straight from you in a minute, but let's say right now, 
we're marketing to them via our email software and we want them to book a call with us. So we send them to a page that again, we build in our page builder that I mentioned earlier. And on that page, there's gonna be a link or a button, again, that you can build using the page builder. It's really easy. Most of them are just drag and drop. You drag and drop the elements. And that's gonna to link to a form or a piece of software where people can book a call. So in terms of forms, Wufu, type form or Google Forms. If you're sending them to a, a calendar where they can book a call, Calendly, Calend, L-Y, right? And they can book a call on that and they can answer some questions on that as well. This is really simple. So what have we used in terms of technology? This stuff you already knew, social media, page builder, one piece, email software, two, a form or a calendar link, uh, a calendar software, that's three things, that's it, right? This is not massive, we do need these things, but this isn't massively overcomplicated, right? People just lose their minds over this stuff. Um, so let's say they book in a call with you using that calendar link. The next thing we need to be able to do is take payment, right? So in this example, we're gonna do that over the phone. So they book a call, get them on the phone, speak to them on the phone, and then we take payment over the phone. The software that you're gonna to use to do that is called Stripe. That's it, I'm not even gonna give you any more alternatives. If you're taking payment over the phone, use Stripe, right? Now, the, the place that this changes is if we send people to a page to buy straight away from us, so let's say we sell to them via email, they click on a link because they wanna buy from us, and instead of a, a link to book a call with you, it's a link to buy straight away, that's fine. What we then need to do is use something called Moonclerk. And when you set up a Moonclerk account, that can be linked to Stripe really easy, easily. You put the, you create a form within Moonclerk, get the link to that, put it on the page, people click on that and then they can buy from you online. Easy. If you're taking payment online and not on a call, you can use PayPal as well. PayPal fees are a little bit higher, um, but I think they pay out quicker if that's important to you. Easy. Is all this making sense? We got any comments? Awesome, thanks for your comment, Tara. I appreciate you showing up. Um, and then, so that's getting people from a point of not knowing who you are to buying from you, right? And what we used in total there, page builder, email software, a form, collect payment, a way to collect payment. Four pieces of technology or software. Do you want to know how to deliver your services? Try different options. So you've got two ways to deliver your services. Apps, Trainerize, PT Distinction, Fitbot, MyPT, Hub, whatever they're called. Test them all. Almost all of them have free trials, right? Create an account, ask a friend, partner, parent, sibling to create an account as a customer and see how it works. Try them, see what's easy for your guinea pig customers to use, see which you like using, and pick the right one. Or use a file sharing software or product, like Dropbox or Google Drive. Deliver your training via Excel spreadsheets or Google Sheets, um, documents, PDFs, Word, whatever, using Google Drive or Dropbox. Test this though, right? Make sure you test all this and make sure that you're happy with which one you choose and it, it provides a good user experience for your customers. Now, don't get me wrong, we could tie this in as well to the stuff that we mentioned earlier. So, email software. We can link that to the delivery of your service as well, right? When somebody signs up to you, we can put them into an automated sequence here where they get a series of emails that onboards them as a client. Every It could be a sequence of emails that they get one email a week that just says, hey, how you doing? Just wanted to check in to, to see how you get on with your program. That can all be automated. And all we've used is four or five bits of software. That's it. So don't overcomplicate the software and technology side of your business because you don't need to. I, like I've, I say all the time, I'm terrible with technology, but I can afford to be because I don't need to be that good 
to have a business that's running reasonably auto it's not running automated but i can automate a lot of things that ca that don't require me to just do them manually every single time because it's the same job every single time the email software takes care of a lot of that automation you do need to use some software don't let anybody tell you that you just don't because you do will everybody need to use all of this all the time no somebody might skip this 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 all this and just message you one day on facebook and say hey dude can we just jump, jump on a quick call i want to buy from you they may ne never visit a page they may never give you their email address but as a bare minimum this is what you probably need and when it comes to delivering your services test the different things that are out there that are available to you see which one you like see which one works for a guinea pig customer and provides a great experience for them that's everything. That's the end of the show. <laughs> Did that work? <laughs>